Hi everyone, Will Alexander here. Um, uh, sitting next to me is Ricky Lee from Waipakarau. Um, and I'm really excited to bring you the first interview for our new internal newsletter. Um, this newsletter is about sharing ideas, uh, talking to people who are doing great things, uh, breaking down the boundaries and uh, yeah, just um, sharing knowledge pretty much. So. Um, great to be here, Ricky, and uh, um, thank you for doing this. This is uh, you're the guinea pig, so it's all good. Um, so tell me about a little bit about yourself. How did you get into the industry? Um, how long have you been in here in the industry? Um, I have been with property brokers for nearly two years. Um, it actually started at Subway with Paul Whitaker being one of my customers. <laughs> you worked at Subway? Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Paul Whitaker was a very good customer who one day um, asked me if I'd like to be a property manager. So that's where it started. Right. And then I hassled him and hassled him and hassled him until he answered me. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like you're born to be a property manager. Yeah. <laughs> so you did that, you are in customer service before you got into it? Yep. 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 And, and do you think that has had an impact on the way that you're working? Absolutely, yep. yep. Yep, um, I was in retail for 14 years in various different jobs, so yep, I think so. Just that face to face. Yeah. Yep. yep that, Dealing with people and learning how to deal with different situations. And yeah, so I was a um, manager at Subway. Yes. So dealing awesome. with complaints and right. all sorts, so yep. <laughs> Good on you. Good on you. So in your time in the industry, um, <laughs> What do you think are some of the most exciting developments that you've seen so far? Um, centralised maintenance is amazing. Yes. Um, using that program. So maintenance manager. Yep. 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 Maintenance manager. Um, it's just a real time saver, mm. and I, I like to know that it's being actively worked on. Yes. Um, the system works. I know that if I need to check on the status of everything, it's there. Yep. I 100% have. Well, everything right where I need it. So if an owner calls me and they say, hey, what's the status of this? And I can say, um, you know, two quotes have come in, yes. um, this one and this one, we're just waiting for a third. Mm. Or uh, the job has been completed, you know. So yep. it's just great to know that somebody is working on the maintenance while I'm out doing other things. So my understanding is, uh, it was before my time, yep. um, but one of the big reasons was uh, to save time, to, yes. to free up your time to go and be a property manager, talk to people, manage and it, property. It's a huge time saver. Yep. Um, the more notes you can put in, mm. the more information you can give, photos if you can, just get it all in there and yep. your CMA will do a really good job and look after it. So, yeah. It's good advice. Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds as though, although you've got the CME team managing that process for you and they do a fantastic job, mm -hmm. It sounds as though you're still quite hands-on and you look at the program quite yes. a bit. Yep. yep. And it, the system gives you the, you know, it gives you complete access, so you can. Yeah. I am a, do like to have a bit of control, so, um, you know, it works. For a property <laughs> it works well because it's yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So um, you've, the CME initiative, um, you're working with, uh, who are you working with? I'm working with, with Kim at the moment. Kim, yep. um, previous to that was Yolanta. Yes. Yep. Okay, fantastic. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on all the changes in legislation at the moment. Yep. Um, obviously there's a lot going on. Um, how do you think that has impacted the industry? Um, I think with plenty of warning, landlords have come around. Um, obviously, yes. a huge cost to them. Yeah. But um, I mean, it's all about communication. Yes. Letting them know it's not us, it's the bad guys. You know, it's actually law. Yes. Um, so it's all about communication, how you come across, mm. um, just following up, and yeah, just. So, of your portfolio, you, uh, I can see that you've, you know, you're growing, and you're doing really well. Mm -hmm. um, of your portfolio, how many? properties, well how many owners sorry, have been absolutely fine and how many have said no, forget it, I'll, I'll, I'll ride the gauntlet? So all bar three. Right, okay. Um, two of the properties are for sale, so they will be sold before. Yep. Um, and one I'm still working on, so 
just again, I think it's about how you approach it, mm. communication, and I mean, if there's any way we can help, you know, holding back some funds or whether yeah. we need to do a rent increase, we'll yes. just let them know we're there to help them. Yeah, sure. Um, and yeah, just we just need to think smarter, I think, and just help them. Yeah. 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 So yeah, obviously quite a big cost for some people. Mm. Um, can also help getting. Sometimes we get up to three different quotes, and yes. yeah. we explain. You know, this one might, might be to the residential tenancies. You know. Um, standards, yes. Yes. but this one may be up to the building standards and that's why okay. there's a different variance in price. So we can explain that the, the one that's insulated to the building standard may last longer yeah, right. with a okay. tenancy tribunal. Uh, so you give them that option, that's yep. interesting. Uh, obviously you're not doing the bare minimum, you're going the extra mile to make sure that you give them the best advice. Yep, because if I was a landlord I'd want to know everything yeah, to make the best choice. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Um, so do you, I mean, you've got the insulation, mm -hmm. you've got um, the smoke alarms that have mm -hmm. been passed, uh, the letting fee recently. Yep. Um, do you feel like it's kind of kicking a dog while it's down? Um, no. the, the, the I haven't admin? had any complaints about letting fees. Everybody's right. been... Really? No, I haven't had a single one. That's really interesting. Yeah. Yep. I guess at the end of the day, um, the service hasn't changed. No. You still take pictures, go out and view the property... Yep. Uh, legal documents, yep. bonds, um, all the cert, all the systems we use. Yeah, um, yeah, oh, it's really interesting. Yeah, and with yep. increasing the rent for them, they sort of see it as you know. So it's only a short term, yep. and they will recover the cost over time. So yep. yeah, I just I think it's gone really well. Just with mm. communication, explaining things, just giving people a bit of time to yep. process and ask questions, and yeah, no, it's been fine. That's really interesting. Um, your owners in Waipak, and I know you actually go from Woodville to uh, Havelock. Yep. Um, I've just driven that and it's quite a big distance. Yep. Um, are they mostly investors or are they sort of default landlords? So what sort of type of uh, investor or uh, owner are you dealing with? So um, the widespread is rural, so that's our rural inspections. Um, I have been helping them um, with insulation as well, mm -hmm. um, just you know, just letting them know because it's all about yeah. talking, communication, and just having that conversation. Because if they don't know, they don't know. So yeah, yeah. So typically, in in the the residential stuff that you manage, um, are they investors? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and do they live in the area, or are they from out of the area? Um, I have a few that are overseas. Yep. Yeah. I have, I'd say, probably. 50% are in Waipakurau or yeah. surrounding. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and one other thing around the legislation, um, they're talking about the Healthy Homes Bill. Mm -hmm. So you have to efficiently heat your house to potentially 18 degrees. Yep. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Um, it's hard, again, because it's another cost to the landlord. Um, the more notice they have, the better. Yeah. But... Yeah. Uh, I mean, you get the odd ones that'll get fed up, but it's just, again, just having conversation. Um, mm. Then again, s some of the tenants won't actually use a heat pump because it costs money. And, Absolutely. you know, so so some landlords will say, hey, you know, I'll put it in, I'll pay all this money, but the tenants won't use it. But mm. it's just, again, going back to its law, or when, when it is, it'll be, you know, it's, it's law now. And, yep. you know, we just ensure that we keep them happy in the meantime. So... If they're finding it financially difficult, well, then we'll assess the property and see if it does need a rent increase. Or, yep. um, yeah, so it's just trying to help them, trying to find different ways to help, um, mm. saving costs where you can. So yep. we might, you know, instead of just saying, sending one tradesman, that's it, this is what we're going to do, we'd, we'd like to send a couple and get the best sort of price, or mm. rather than just patch a job that's going to, you know, like a pipe, it's going to burst again in a couple of months or yeah. so. We'd, yeah. we'd sort of advise against replacing it or... Do it once, do it right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. It's uh, something I'm picking up pretty clearly is you, you provide a very good service <laughs> and obviously communicate with your owners a lot. Yeah. What, what is, do you think is one of your biggest achievements from 2018 considering you were recognised as property manager of the year? Um, so net promoter score. Yeah. Um, I like to check that regularly. 
Um, on you. So do you use the app? Or? No, I don't have the app, but I check okay. on home base oh, regularly. Yep. Download the app. Yeah. Yep. Um, and if I do see there's, you know, a step in or lower, mm. then I might approach them and say, hey, you know, thank you for doing the survey. Right Is there anything you. I can improve on? Because I would like to improve on the score next time. Yep. And sometimes they really appreciate that because they see that you're actually trying to do better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it's for. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, you don't know how you're going until you ask. Yeah. And that's, uh, I think that's great that you get the information and you follow it up. Yeah. Um, well, it's there to be used and there to grow. So. Yeah, and it's worked. I've, you know, I've had a five before, which has turned into a ten. So. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, I was reading through your MPS comments on the way here, and uh, obviously something that came through clearly, which you've already alluded to, is the communication. Yeah. So, do you have sort of a strategy in place? Do you say I call my owners once every month, or what? what why do you? What's your communication? policy, I guess, or how do you do it? So, um, I do have quite a few multiple owners. Yep. Um, so once I've done, you know, I might have done a couple of inspections at their properties, I'll just ring and say, hey, you know, everything's going fantastic, tenants are all paid in advance like they should be, um, there's no damages, there's, you know, the properties have been kept clean and tidy, mm -hmm. and just wanted to let you know everything's going fantastic. And they really appreciate it. They, yeah. you know, oh, wow, you know, you're not just ringing up for maintenance all the time. So Bad news calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it pays to do the good news calls because then mm. it, when you do need to ring up and say, hey, you know, mm. um, we've, we've got some rent arrears or, you know, then they don't take it as bad. Yeah. yeah. You're building relationships, I guess, yeah. with your clients and, you know, building a relationship. They trust you yeah. and... I guess that eventually makes it easier to have those difficult conversations. If, yep. you, if you say, you know, the hot water cylinder burst and you've got yep. to go and spend a couple of thousand dollars, yep. they trust you yep. and you get on with it. Yep. Yeah, it's really cool. I've, I've um, seen your attention to detail. I've seen one of your inspection reports and I think um, in over 10 years of being in the industry, it's pretty much the most detailed thing I've ever seen. You're a detailed person. Um, yes. How do you manage that? Does it um, make it easier for you to do your job? Absolutely. Um, I don't like doing things half pie. Um, I like. I think that things should look good. Um, they should be completed. And hey, I mean, if I've got a report and I go to tribunal, it's. I want it to look good. Yep. So that's what I always have in my mind is that if I go to tribunal, mm. am I going to win this case with this report, or am I going to win this case with these photos? So mm. I just think for like. Think for the no. What is that? You prepare, f prepare for the worst, yep. but hope for the best. So that's really yep. good. It's a good yep. philosophy. Yeah. Years ago, uh, my manager at the time said to me, uh, "Integrity is doing the right thing when no one is watching." Yeah. And same sort of thing yep. is you just do your job, you do it well. Yeah. Yep. It's really it's uh, it's awesome. So uh, I mean, here we are sitting in Waipakarau. It's uh, after six o'clock. You're still here. I know you waited for me, but you mentioned when I got here, you, you go out there, you do your business, and you come back here, and this is where you work? Yep. Um, are you a nine-to-five person, or no. what do you do? Um, I like This is where I like to get everything right. I like to dig into my portfolio. I've got no distractions, and I can mm. work. Yep. I can make sure that that appraisal looks good. I can make sure that inspection report looks good, or, you know, whatever else, if I'm, you know, doing my insulation, I can make sure that I've done 10 or so that night and I've, yep. Yep. you know, working towards something. Yeah, sure. Yep. How do you, so, you know, we all know that this industry is full of distractions and uh, ideal weeks are um, whatever, yep. prioritised. Yep. Um, how do you manage the distractions? I mean, do you get frustrated through the day when you know that the workload's building up, you just know that this is your time where you catch up? Yeah, no, I mean... When people come through the door, they're your priority, not what's sitting on your desk. So, it's a really yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got to give everybody the time of day. Like mm. if you, you've got to treat everybody the same. Yeah. Um, and yeah. you've got to help everybody. Yeah. So, you know, whether it's somebody coming in to apply for a property, um, you give them all the information you need, and you know you might have a laugh with them, or you might talk about the weather or something. But hey, I mean, they leave feeling like. They've just had a good experience. Yeah. So, 
rather than saying, no, sorry, we've got no houses and leaving it at that, mm. um, it's just good to have tenants walk out with a good experience. Or, you know, really cool. yeah, if an owner comes in and they just want to chat about how their bad experience is going with their current tenant, and they may not be yes. a landlord of ours, but we'll say, hey, you know, I would advise you do this or that. Um, if they're not sure how to refund a bond or something like that, I'll say, hey, look, I've got a bond refund here for you, mm. form, sorry, oh, and wow. I'll help them. Yep. You know, because that could end up being a management one day. So I always think, um, you know, what could this lead into? Mm. And just give people your time. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Play the long game, right? Yeah. You know, eventually <laughs> they'll become a client. Or yeah. A, yeah. 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 Or you know, they may not become a client, but they might say, "Hey, that girl Ricky Lee, she's really nice. Go and talk to her. She'll help mm. you out." And that could turn into a management. You never quite know. Oh, absolutely. People yeah. talk. You yeah. know, you work with investors, and guess what? Their friends are probably investors. Yeah. And it just sort of goes from there. Yeah. Also, um, talking to your tradesmen, have a good relationship with your tradesmen, oh, yeah. yep. because they may be working on empty houses that yeah. an investor owns. Or, yeah, so it's just about forming relationships, I find, and just yep. try and be your best you can. It's really, it's uh, it's the fundamentals, isn't yep. it? It's people and property. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what would you say to someone that's recently joined property brokers and has uh, stepped into property management? What's a couple of things that you'd say to them? Um, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Yeah. Um, I'd say use your Outlook calendar. Oh yeah. It's great. Do all your appointments in there as much as you can. All the reminders that you yeah. can. Yeah. Um, you don't want to. You don't want to forget an appointment. <laughs> no. Um, use maintenance manager. Use all the systems you can. IRE, mm. maintenance manager, everything you can. Um, palace, and if you need help, ask. Yep. If you're stuck on something, don't just do what you think, ask. I ask a lot of questions, and I still do.